Thank you, Dylan. I'm uh, pretty happy to be here. <laughs> it's lovely to have you in the commentary box. And uh, we're about to get underway with uh, the men's elite 20-inch. And uh, what a race it's been. Quite a podium. Oh, quite a quite a start list uh, uh, yesterday in the uh, in the semis and uh, we had uh, the qualifiers Lucien Leiser from Switzerland through Eloy Palau from Spain Ion Arieto Samuel Hlaverty from Slovakia Dominic Oswald from uh, Germany and Thomas Perhaka from Austria and um, quite amazing we've got uh, what's that one two three four five different nations in the men's 20 inch that's pretty cool huh yeah that's, that's really amazing um it was pretty good with the women as well we had every every competitor was from a different nation so yeah, that made things shows, pretty interesting yeah it just shows that uh, the sport's growing worldwide so yeah that's very cool so uh, as you can see there the riders are on the stage lining up and uh, from there they're going to make their way all the way down to section number one which is uh, the, the Panda Rocks, and then they're going to get underway. The riders will be starting from the sixth ranked, or the, the sixth, sixth position in the semis, uh, up to the uh, first uh, position. So the guy who qualified first, which is Thomas Perkaka from uh, Austria, he'll be our last starter here. And the guys will be going through all the different sections. We're starting off with the Panda Rocks, then going on to the uh, Wonder Logs, then into the Waterfall section, onto the Chengdu city section which is all the concrete blocks and then the UCI section. Janine, what was your favourite section? What was your first section from this morning's event? Um, my favourite section would probably have to be uh, the log section. So um, yeah, I quite enjoyed riding that one. Um, I think probably the hardest one was the panda one. I mean, it's a little bit deceiving as a rider. Um, you can actually see that the rocks are actually quite slippery. They're kind of like a river rock. From a spectator's point of view, it looks um, really nice. But they don't, I don't know if people realise how slip, slippery they are. <laughs> and also, does the does because the the, the the panda faces that's painted on the rock is it is it more slippery? The paint is it like a? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, that just adds another element to the uh, to the race. <laughs> so so the guys going into the section now, like uh, what kind of advice would you give them as they're going in now? Um, I guess they also have to watch the floor because um, the grass looks good from up here on the commentary box, but it's quite uneven. So um, just to get your rhythm right, they've got to actually pick their line correctly in the grass there. It's actually funny we were talking about that in the um, in the in the Wonder Logs where where you had to line up for that. You could kind of see as you were pedaling in, the bike wasn't like going smoothly. It was hard to get speed. Is that is that because of the grass? Yeah, my rear wheel was into an up face. You can't you couldn't see it, but I could feel it. And as I went to take off, it just went straight into the up face. I was like, oh, I've got to push a little bit harder here. <laughs> yeah, no, you could you could see it. Uh, all right, so looking at the at the screen there, there's our uh, 3D of the uh, different sections. We've got the waterfall section. We've got, uh, which is a combination of rock and water. Bikes have to get wet, definitely a challenge. Then you've got the Chengdu section, which is those uh, difficult discs and, uh, and different tubes. And uh, then after that, we've got the uh, UCI pickup sticks, as they call it, but the UCI logs, and uh, also not not easy at all, though. No, no, it, it looks beautiful, but um, it is actually quite techy going through there. And, uh, I think it's going to be a good challenge for all the riders coming through now. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I don't think anybody made it out of the UCI section in the uh, ladies' race. Uh, not for 60, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, it was not, quite not a long section, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I was gassed by by the end of it <laughs> yeah no not very few uh, um very few uh, 60 points in the race uh yeah there were a couple of 50s but to get 60 was quite challenging they were actually quite long sections so you you couldn't really stop or have a second go at anything you had to kind of keep moving and it was more of a if you wanted a chance of getting you know 50 or 60 you had to get a first go and you keep flowing through the section so that was a key for today's race and I'd say the same is going to be for the men here because they've got six, six gates as well and it's not a short course for them. No, not at all. I hope they've been working their cardio. <laughs> yeah, I even saw Jack breathing difficult yesterday, so yeah, <laughs> it's going to be hard. All right, so going into over gate one, Lucian Leister, 10 points so far, heading up to this big hook. Ooh, very nice. Very done. smooth, huh? I saw a few people struggling with that run up in semifinals, so yeah, he got that first go, which is great. So this is important, uh, the getting things first go, because when you kind of go at it a few times, that's when 
you pick up problems with with the time come the end of the section because you've exactly. only got two you've, minutes. Yeah, you've only got the two minutes. So after the two minutes, you have to exit the section, um, and you can't collect any more points. So the scoring system, how it works, you'll see there at the bottom of your screen. Um, Lucian currently on 30 points, and it's 10, 10, 10. For each gate he can get through, and the gate can consist of uh, a few arrows, but uh, each obstacle, as you're seeing now, is this obstacle ahead of him. That's worth 10 points. He needs to clear the clear the whole thing. Ooh, finding it difficult to get speed there. Yeah. Any I think advice for him on that one, <laughs> if you could hear us? Pick your line on the grass there. <laughs> Push harder. Oh, hooking it nicely. Very nicely done. Tell us a bit about that technique of hanging and how you get the bike up there. Yeah, so I, I guess the key is just to get the front. Uh, sometimes you'll have um, sections on the rock where you can, like, you can't really see it, but it's like a little crevice, so you can just grab the front almost, and then it'll just hang up there. But yeah, he'll he'll usually um, just load up the forks and then actually lift up through. So that's um, yeah, probably the key to ha um, those hang the hooks that he's just done there. Oh. So, out of time. Oh, hang on. The screen's a bit off. So, uh, he can't hit this uh, last gate. Oh, no. Now out of time. Time. Yeah. So, that's five points. So, as you can see there, running out of time in the section. Really good going for Lucian. 40 points. I'm sure he's going to be happy with that. 40 points is excellent. I mean, most of these guys for the first section, everyone's got first section jitters. Um, I had that. And you just kind of go in and you're super stiff. You know, he's... The, it always happens. You talk to all the riders and they've all got the same. doesn't matter how many comps they've done. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And uh, and what you're seeing here, these are the six best riders from the qualifying yesterday. Essentially, it's the six best riders in the world that are here on this course. And uh, see how his front's just hanging there? Yeah, yeah, you can see how his front wheel in that slow-mo, how that front wheel is just hanging off that rock, literally like uh, clawing his way up. All right, so this is Eloy Palau. He's... Uh, He's got probably of the best movement on the bike. He can get over the handlebar like you've never seen and, and hook up some huge moves. But can he put this, uh, this section together? It's not an easy one. Getting up there, no problem at all. So 30 points for him here already. Come on, now it's this big, uh, the big jump up to the hook. So we saw Lucian struggle, he had to jump back. If he can get it first time, and he does, look at that. That's definitely going to save him on time, so we'll have enough for that last gate. Oh, he switched the pedal there. Yeah, you right see that, foot yeah. forward. Yeah, it's quite a technical line that he took there. Look at this, absolutely flying through the section. So still 30, 32 seconds to go. Is he going to pick up the 10 points? He does. So is it ready on 40? He's got this monster of a hook up in front of him. Eh? This thing is like, it's huge. It's like, it's like head height, that thing. It's, it's, yeah. it's massive. He's got some pretty big lines in Aureus, which is his um, home training ground. So, oh, very close. It was a good effort by you, Luke. He had plenty of time to try that, so that's good. Yeah, for sure. 50 points. That's a solid start for Ilo Palau from Spain there. Just look at the power he's putting in. How hard do you actually have to pedal to, to line up to this? I mean, about eight. <laughs> as, as hard as you can. Yeah, he'd be going full gas on that. I mean, the key is on your your half pedal. So as you can see, he's right right pedal forward. So when he's coming through, the power will be coming through his left, and then he'll be jumping out of his right right pedal. Nice so, switch switch foot there. That's actually really quite technical because all the riders they have a lead foot. So, as you can see, Eon's left foot forward and Eloy was uh, right foot forward. Yeah. So when you, you switch pedals... Now he's starting with his right foot forward. And that's what you were talking about, the half pedal stroke. Yeah, that. exactly. You've got to time your distance and your pedal stroke. So, it's, yeah, if, you, if you're if you out on either of those, it makes the jump much more difficult. Most times you won't make it. So. Yeah. And those sitting on the couch watching this, if you want to know what it feels like. So, look at the wall, your garden wall. And, uh, and think of pedaling flat out into it and hoping to get to the top. That's kind of what they're seeing because those uh, rocks are, some of them are, are 1.8 meters high and, yeah, not easy at all. No, no, and surprisingly all these guys still have their front teeth. <laughs> some of them do. Yeah. I don't know if they're all, all original. Yeah, yeah, if you see someone with nice shiny white teeth, you know what's happened. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come on. Yeah. 
Ian having a great ride yesterday. He was in the lead for a little while. And, oh, just struggling there. Now, you can see those ropes coming off the rocks. The riders have to stay within those ropes as well. They can't cross over. If they cross over the ropes... Oh, he's got go. his front just hanging over there so he can keep himself locked in. So he's in a good position now to do the lift. Just have a look at that. He's, he's, his waist over that handlebar, chest literally hugging the front wheel. And uh, he's going to have to try and get movement from there and pull it. Oh, and he does. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go. On to the top. So smooth, so fast. Uh, he's just out of time. Out of time. But 50, 50 points. points. That's good. That's a very good score. That's a really good recovery, seeing as though he, he had to jump back twice on, uh, on two of the obstacles. So, yeah. Solid start for, for Ian. All right, so uh, next in, Samuel Halavati from Slovakia. His sister also rides. She's getting really good, very young, but uh, picking up some good st skill. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Samuel has just this year really just riding insane. Still very, very young. I think he's only 18 odd years old now. Yeah, yeah, and, super young. Uh, here he is in the final of the World Championships. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, well, he made podium in Berlin. Yeah, so. he did, yeah. So. It's not as if he hasn't won big event or been up there on big events, but uh, really young rider coming through and just showing some real class. Yeah, his lead up's been great into this, so um, he's just riding really, really strong. Every time I've seen him, he's, well, his semi-finals was really good. Every lap he got stronger and stronger, so. Yeah. Okay, 30 points for him, yeah. The level is just so high. These guys getting high points in, uh, in all the sections. As you can see, Samuel already on 30 points. And this is going to put a lot of pressure on Dominique and, and Thomas because they know, like... Well, they're watching all these riders go through. Sometimes it's... I mean, most people th think, oh, okay, it's um, it's best to go last so then you can see wh where to put your wheels and everything. But sometimes that puts puts the pressure on you, you know, to perform. I don't know if that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I make a mistake, like... Because you know that the guys, like, like, all the riders have gotten points, like, all the way through... And if you mess up on the first one, it like just throws your mind off a... Yeah, that's for, that's the thing though with the riding. It's not just physical, it's mental as well. So you've you've got to be able to stay mentally strong and um, stay focused when you get in the section, especially if you're, you know, Thomas or Domi going in now. Um, they've got to make sure that they're collecting those points in this first section because it's going to be crucial. Oh, I look at that. He's running out of time. Two seconds, one. And no, it's over. So 40 points for Samuel. So Samuel and Lucian Leiser on 40 points. We've got uh, Eloy 50 and Eon 50. And now it's into our top two qualifiers here. And uh, that is uh, Dominic Oswald, Thomas Packhaker. And uh, Dominic will be going first. Obviously, uh, there he is from Germany. It's into interesting. The section. Dommy's actually riding uh, rim brake front and rear. Whereas a lot of the other competitors are choosing disc on the back. So, yeah. Yeah, as you can see. So, so yeah, that's another, th that's a, like, uh, the r difference between the rim brake and the disc brake. A lot of people ask, what, what, you know, why do the riders choose one or the other? On the, uh, on the small wheel bike, a lot of the riders prefer the, uh, the, the modulation and the smoothness of the disc brake on the back, but they want the real bite of the, of the disc, of the rim brake on the front. The rim brake being a lot more powerful than the disc. And, uh, Dominique obviously preferring the bite front and back, and uh, he's smooth enough and good enough not to need the, the yeah. modulation and the smoothness. He's looking smooth now. <laughs> yeah, he's looking very smooth. 30 points and uh, flying. He's still got a minute to go. And if he can do this first time, I think we've got a good chance of seeing somebody uh, attempt the last, uh, the last gate. Oh, yeah, he's between, yeah, Domi and Tom, they've got some serious power. I think they've been doing some few squats in the gym this year. A few? <laughs> It's an understatement. Maybe two. Yeah, I think they've been doing only squats in the gym. This year. <laughs> I think they've actually done all the squats in the gym. There's no left for anybody else. <laughs> they used all the weights. <laughs> all the weights are gone. <laughs> These guys have done them. Just, just look at how fast he's going. So, 22 seconds left. 
and he's got one gate left. Can he get 60 points? Come on, here's the big hook. Let's go, let's go. Yes! Oh, Is he through? 10 seconds, you can have another crack at this. It's got to be quick. Uh, oh. Just gassed there, I think. 50 points. <laughs> that was a good effort, though. That's very solid riding, and he does look very, very focused. Look at that. Just look at the power that, that, that he puts into the pedal. It's, it's insane. But don't be such a chilled guy outside of um, outside of the competition. Once he gets in the comp, he's just race face. Oh yeah. <laughs> he seems like a, a very focused, you know, German focus. You know, you, you can see it in him. It's. Uh, yeah, it's great to see. Real, a real good competitor and real focus. I mean, that's awesome. I think it's going to be a fight to the end. Oh, yeah. Right, now you're going to see uh, Thomas Pechaka in the section. Now you'll see a different brake combination. So, uh, Dominique taking the rim brake front and back. Uh, the other riders having rim brake on the front and disc on the back. And uh, Thomas having disc front and back. So, uh, yeah. There he goes. A big move. Also, hugely powerful rider. Almost want to say he's one of the most powerful. I think this season I would almost, yeah, I'd agree with you there. Yep. <laughs> Look at how incredibly easy he went through there. Oh, but he's got to go. He missed the gate, so he had to go through. As you can see, he had to get to the top and then turn right. And uh, he missed that, so he had, to get, he had to go back up to the top and then, and then go over it. So he went to the top and went left. Small mistake. Didn't cost him too much time, but he's really got to get going if he wants to get to the end of this. Oh. Didn't get that first time. He's not going to be happy with that. Yeah, he, knows a, he knows the time is short on this one. Yeah, 30 seconds there. He's Come on, have Thomas. to keep moving. He hasn't got his front wheel in that hook. As you can see, the other riders had the front wheel more, kind of more to the, to the right. I think for the right pedal, it's quite quite difficult because you can't quite get your if you do put your front wheel there your right pedal's in the way and that's why you saw Eloy switch the pedal oh yeah 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 because yeah, you get sure. more clearance as a left pedal oh, this is this is a disaster for for Thomas only uh, only what 30 points so he's currently in last place our number one qualifier in last place, I think he's concerned about something on the bike. There was a, I think he heard a strange noise that might have thrown him off a little bit. But never count him out, eh? Oh no, he he'll be fight. fighting till the end. He'll fight till the end. <laughs> he had such a solid semi-finals. He was just on the money pretty much. Yeah. So. And he was definitely not. Uh, he wasn't in the lead after after the first lap. No, but he came back really strong in the second and third lap. Oh, look at that! He did. He broke a spoke. So uh, there was a, there was a crack. There was a, a, a noise as he accelerated. And uh, all the squats. So, yeah, it's all the squats. Yeah. <laughs> he shouldn't have done all of them. That's what he gets for being selfish and taking all the squats for himself. <laughs> exactly. Right, so uh, in the section we've got Lucian. And we're going to go back to the... All right, so going back to the section there, showing us exactly what the guys have to do. And this is the Wonder Logs. And uh, a section of uh, just loads and loads of rocks. Funny angles. As you can see, the riders having to get on and kind of maneuver their way around around the logs and, and get it to the top the the junior men who came from the other direction the lead men have to kind of like uh, get up from a really dodgy side yeah exactly that, oh, i had a look at that and that really looked difficult this morning yeah and as you as you could see his front was actually so some of the the logs got some bark on there and the others actually had the bark removed so those sections that are smooth they're super slippery so he had his front on the bark and then his rear on the uh, smooth, smooth log. And yeah, it's, it's a, he's really got to find that grip with the rear. They've got the chicken mesh just on uh, those other logs, so that actually provides a lot of grip, especially in the rain. So as a rider, when you see that, you're kind of thanking God because you're going to have grip on those. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, but he's about to get to the section that we all 
everybody wants to see this and this is the huge kicker so uh, everybody's i think scared of it they made it a lot bigger for the uh, for the final and when he climbs on top here you'll be able to see the uh, the huge kick that he's got to do he's going to have to jump up onto uh, literally onto the top of these massive like stack of logs ahead of him yeah, I saw a couple of the juniors fly over it. Yeah, just going <laughs> way too high. Yeah. But they have made this a lot higher for the men's men's event. Oh, very nicely done. See, so yeah. he just touched the front on the way through there. So nice. Uh, okay, so what's happening now is Lucian was watching the time on the uh, on the board, but the riders shouldn't be watching the time on the board because obviously the screen, there's always a little bit of de delay, and it looks like he missed out on the final gate by literally just a second, and uh, that's why he didn't get the final 10 points for that. So even though he made the kicker, he missed out on it, and uh, he has to ask the timekeeper for the time because the, the time is that stopwatch, and... Even though the board has got the time on it and it's fairly accurate, there can always be a delay in the feed. And um, yeah, so unfortunately having that problem, just missing out on the last gate. He's going to yeah, be gutted by that. Yeah, because it was, yeah, he did that really nicely, the, the kicker at the end there. So. Definitely the smoothest we've seen anybody do. I mean, he sailed through that. So Eloy coming in, I think he's going to like this section. This is kind of, he's a... Uh, he's a bit of a log specialist. They've got a really <laughs> huge and technical uh, log section in Aureus. So uh, Paul and uh, Paul Sergi and e Eloy, they regularly train there. So I'd say um, he's going to do quite well in this log section. How do you, how do you approach something like this? Well, as you can see, he's uh, right pedal, so it's actually, he's jumping to his preferred side. Um, he's making light work, work of this, actually. <laughs> oh, very smooth coming down there on the back wheel in Emmanuel. We saw Charlie Rolls and uh, Alejandro Montalvo this morning using the same technique to get off that log. And that's, that's quite, a, quite a scary thing to like land on a log, keep it on the back wheel, and just let just go of the brake and trust your balance the whole way down. Yeah, exactly. Especially on that angle, but um, right, so this hook is is literally getting onto the top of that that log that you see in front of him now. It's a massive leap up. They can't use the back wheel. They can only use the front wheel to get on top there. Ooh, he does it, and he actually did use the back wheel. He kind nice. of floated over it. Yeah, he did. Even even that last jump there, he just manualed across that the log. He's running incredibly smooth. I think that uh, on, disc brake's definitely helping his style. Yes, he's got 15 seconds. He's going to have to hit this very, very quickly. Probably not too oh, quickly. 35 seconds to go. See, he's been going super fast. And uh, can he do this? Oh, that's, he's in hook there. What? No, you're realizing. Well, it was Just the last not gate, yeah. Speed. Yeah, when, he, when you put your foot down, then, yeah, those points don't count. So he really needed to clean that to collect those points. He's going to be gutted. He got through that section so quickly. Everything to win. And uh, just, what do you think? Just not enough speed there? Yeah, I think maybe it was just holding back. So a bit more speed. You're going to have to need, yeah, you need that because they put that extra log on top now. Because the, the juniors only had that one log. So I think, I think the fear is that because the guys have never ridden it before, they don't know what it's, like how fast you have to go. You just got to kind of guess. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, well, that's why they have the on-foot inspection before the finals. Um, that's one of the hardest things about trials when you compare it to, say, BMX or downhill. All, the, um, all those guys get to practice their course beforehand, you, you know, get familiar with it, whereas a lot of trials is just visualisation. So you don't actually get to practice, like you said, until you're actually in the final, riding the sections. So that's one of the hardest things. So the only thing you can do is walk it on foot and kind of guesstimate what sort of technique you're going to use. Sometimes what you think is going to be the right technique isn't, when you get there, you're like, oh, this is not what I <laughs> what I should be using. And then you've got to, you know, freestyle it sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
So, so with this one, this big up to this big up to the front wheel. Let's see how. Oh, oh look at that! Straight nice. to the back wheel. Just tap the front. Yeah. That was really nicely done. Beautiful style there. So, takes a lot of confidence to go for that one. <laughs> you got to know yourself because if you don't make it up, you're just going straight over backwards. Yeah, exactly. And uh, look how close that gate is to the uh, to that, the edge. Yeah. You That's really got to keep it tight and keep it on there. Yeah, and he was. Let's get you on up the big kicker. There we go. Oh, oh hell of a he And he's out. Oh, no. He missed the gate. He missed, the, yeah, because he had to ride off the boardwalk there. Yeah, you have to go off the edge of the boardwalk. And why did he rush out? He still had time left. He, he stopped. He could have gone around the, the moment back. sometimes. <laughs> when you see the finish line, sometimes you just head for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good ride there for for Ion Arieto there from Spain. And uh, that's 40 points in the bag for him there. So 50 and 40. Eloy Palau, 50-50, so he's currently on 100. And then Lucian Leiser, 40 and 30. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens now because uh, it's, a, it's a big one for uh, the rest of the field. Samuel Hlavati is really going to have to do something. Oh, he's, he's come through. He was on, our, he's on 10, so he's come in already. Going straight off, not using that manual technique. <laughs> the gap to floor technique. <laughs> now you'll see Dominic won't go straight to the floor. He won't he won't manual down because of that rim brake. You can't really drag the rim you don't brake. Think? How much money do you want to bet? <laughs> <laughs> we should be betting on whose rugby team's gonna win. <laughs> yeah. We should what have we got in this commentary box? <laughs> oh, bet, bet you some rice. <laughs> All right. Come on, Samuel. Let's see what he can do. What techniques he going to use? Up to the front wheel, up to the back wheel, or roll it on. Straight to back as well. Sheepers, that's a big move. That is really high. I would say that's about 1.4 meters high. Yeah, pretty close, I think. I'm having to go. There's oh, no these... ramp there. There's no kicker. you just got to literally launch the bike on 1.4 meters up and land with the bike above your head. And you'll see as they throw the bike up, that, that back wheel literally comes up, like right by his head. Big hook onto the top. Still got 26 seconds to go. Let's see if Samuel can do this. He's, he's seen the other riders. He knows he needs, he needs a lot of speed for this. Come on, let's go. Whoop. No, oh. not even close. See how his weight just, like, he was hanging back there. Really, in the kickers, you've got to push off that ramp. So, yeah, he just didn't get the height there. Really upset with himself there, but the rest of it was really good. Yeah, it was, and he, he got 50 points, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't think he can be too upset. He's he's right up there. He's the same score now, both 90 with uh, Eloy. And uh, the big thing is, Thomas is going to have to get 60 points here to keep himself in contention. And I think he's got it in him. On this section, I think he can get out with 60. I think so. He's uh, he's re he's actually really quite good at the kickers, so if we can get him to the kicker, it's going to be interesting to see. He's got a really good flow. But Dominique's also good, and if Dominique comes out on 60, he's keeping a good lead. He's going to keep that pressure on. Yeah. There he goes. Uh, Look at that focus. That race face. Yeah, that's a race face if you've ever seen one. <laughs> So, a uh, combination of materials on the bike too. Dominique opting for aluminium frame and uh, some of the other riders going for carbon. So, Thomas on a carbon monocoque and uh, Ion Arieto and uh, um, Samuel Hlavity on like kind of a more standard carbon frame and then... Uh, I think uh, Eloy Palau, he's on aluminium as well. He is, yeah, he's riding the Comos. Yeah, yeah, so the Comos is full aluminium. Dominique's got the carbon fork. It's really, it's a really, the bikes are, are a big mix. What yeah. do you prefer? Yeah, yeah there's um, several options on the market now. So, But most of the guys are running the um, carbon fork because they're much more rigid, especially you see a lot of the um, the World Cups and also the World Champs, they, ha they have a lot of hang lines. And if you've got an aluminium fork, a lot of the times you'll feel the flex. So it makes it really hard when you're trying to switch to rear. So 
yeah, that's definitely definitely a big improvement having yeah. the carbon forks available. And the aluminium versus the carbon frame. What do you uh, think? To be honest, I haven't actually tried the carbon frame, but the feedback I've got from the other riders is that it's quite more. It's a lot more rigid, um, yeah. but obviously a lot lighter. So I did but see somebody. A lot, a lot some more if you, one fall and sorry. Like, if you fall on that. It's Oh dear. Well, I did see somebody break their carbon bike in the, the rock section in semi finals. <laughs> That's no good. Oh, Tommy. 50 points, go still a solid ride there. could have gone back up the slope. So, so far, it is only Lucian that got through the, the kicker. Yeah. But Domi's finished on 50 for that section, so that's still a really solid ride. Very solid, but it does open it up a little bit because if Thomas can get a 60 here, it puts him back into the contest. Yeah, he'll be he won't be on. in the lead, but he... It's so. going to be a tight race. I think it's going to be down to the last section. Yeah, but look at that. 10 points between uh, the top four. And uh, we haven't had Thomas come in yet. So let's hope we see our first 60 of the event here with Thomas. I just, I just really think the section suits him. I think so too. Fingers crossed. I don't think there's any way to get enough speed off the gun. All right, so Thomas in the section. And uh, the scoring hasn't uh, yet seen that he's he is through. He's a uh, should be on should have a couple of points on the board so if you look at the scoring and you think why is there no points just hasn't uh, popped up yet it will be up soon all right so big kick up to the back wheel he's going very quickly look at that oh sorry the timer on the screen is wrong so there was obviously a slight delay on his start that's why the riders shouldn't look at the timing board because if there is like a, a, a information feed or a delay or anything like that problem. Oh, look just at that. Just flying to the top there. <laughs> he just flew up. Oh, his pedal ups are so strong. And his left foot forward, so this is going to help him a lot to get up here. It's right gonna, foot. Oh, sorry, right foot forward, yeah. Your other left. Yeah, the other left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get Thomas up here. All right, so sit Come on, let's see. Rolls out. Oh, yes, holding it to rear. See how he's gone back up onto the boardwalk? Yes, so 60 points. Very nice, he's got the 60. He's got the 60, so that's putting him only 10 behind. Good and, prediction uh, there, Dylan. Huh? Good prediction there. Yeah. <laughs> I just, when I looked at the section, I just thought, man, he's got, he's got that one. He's, he's, got can, he's so smooth and with the logs, you know, you've got to got to have that finesse and he, he did it so yeah Thomas second or well, third place we've got Eli on 100 Dominique on 100 and uh, Thomas just 10 points behind the competition's still on everything now, to fight for and look at that so we've got three riders on 90 two riders on 100 it's uh, it's going to be one massive fight for the win. Now we've got the uh, riders over at the waterfall section. This one's going to be a fun one to watch. Yeah, so uh, some of the riders will be swapping bikes for this section. Uh, those that have two bikes, identical bikes, will... Is uh, that the bikes will get wet, fix the brakes. Were you worried about that when you were on the course? Uh, yeah, I actually had an aluminium rear disc for the water section. Um, it works well with uh, like a lot of water. So if you've got a heavy downpour, um, a lot of the riders will actually opt for aluminium discs. So I think a couple of these guys might have actually swapped over, and that's going to help them because they're going to have to end up in the water. Yeah, yeah. It'd be great for the cannot, wheel bearings. There's no way to get through the section without uh, uh, um, getting the bike wet. So yeah. All right, look at that. So, skipping the water on the way down. He's actually managed to keep the bike pretty dry. If you look at his tires, they're barely even wet. So, Lucian currently 30 points. 
So still zero on the board, so no dabs yet. But this is so difficult. We saw the uh, the junior men really, really struggling. Even the likes of Alejandro Montalvo, who is currently the World Cup, uh, won the World Cups. He was he was really struggling with us this morning, and it's seriously, I'd say, one of the hardest moves of the whole competition. Oh, uh, as, as you can see, they've got to lift their rear straight to that point, but they've got the the rope running just along the yeah. edge of the log there. So. If they go outside of that boundary, they don't get the points. So they've got to, when they lift, they've got to be balanced so then they can land accurately on the log. So it's super yeah. technical. It's not It's not just pulling to the top. It's, it's actually it's being keeping in control. it like really <laughs> controlled. So Lucian's not going to be happy with that. So uh, 30 points for him on the section. I'm sure he's going to, he was hoping for a lot more than that. Just so smooth through the water there, really. Going yeah, quickly. He had all the time in the world. If he got through that log section, he would have ended up in the water. <laughs> that exit line. <laughs> so yeah, on this section, they've made very, very sure that the riders have to go through the water. So to exit the to exit this section, you actually have to go through the water, then do a big side up onto the, uh, the ramp that uh, runs out of the section. And uh, yeah, we saw Nina actually literally falling out of the section this morning was really exciting. Yeah, yeah, she was fighting right to the end. Okay, so in the section, Eloy Palau, currently uh, second place, and um, now he's got this brutal hook. Look how narrow that is. It is absolutely tiny. It's literally just wide enough. The bike has to stay on that edge. He's opting for the static move. If you could give some uh, advice to him, what would it be? I think Eloy is an um, experienced operator. He knows what to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. He just continues to pedal through. He was. He made light work of that. That was really good. He's still got 40 seconds left on the clock. Are we going to see 60 from him yet? It would be great to see. He's got plenty of time. Jeez, look at that. Oh, so smooth. Now he's got Keeping to turn the back and wheel. get back on that log. Most guys have actually opted to drop off the side. Very nice. Now he's in the water. He's got one side up left. He is very close to 60 points here on the section. 20 seconds. That's plenty of time to get through. I think he's got this. All right, so. Five seconds left. Come on, that's it. Oh, oh. Just not quite finishing that off. He didn't want to go for the side up. It's a huge side up that they're asking for the, from the right. His bike's actually stuck on the log. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's enjoying it. All right, 50 points. But what a ride there. That was absolutely awesome. Yeah, his and accuracy uh, was great that, on that rock log section. So that, that the rock just, log line. He sorry. did it so, so quickly, and that, that's what's important there. Yeah, these riders have got to keep moving because this section's a very long one. How does that affect you? So the riders have to wait for, obviously, for the rider before them to finish the section before they can go in and, you know, your body gets all warm and now you're hanging around, it gets cold. How do you, how do you stay warm? How do you stay, stay in the race? Um, every competitor's got their own technique, but a lot of the times you can just, you know, do a bit of jogging in between the section or actually get on the bike and... You'll just see them jumping on rear wheel between the sections just to keep it, keep their uh, heart rate up and you know keep the blood flowing, get a good feel on the bike. Yeah. So Ion Arieto now into this uh, brutal hook. Definitely the definitely one of the hardest parts of the whole event. I, when I looked at this, I actually didn't think anybody would get it right, but yeah, Eloy making light work of it. Ion. Uh, Eloy, before. Oh, Eloy, yeah, yeah. yeah made light word of it. And now uh, Eon is uh, going to have to copy his fellow Spaniard. Come on, let's get it. Yes. Oh, just hanging on there. Hold on. Oh, oh, no. He was trying to stay in the tape there. <laughs> he had it. That's a shame. That is. And I, I, I think that's, that's really that's a, a massive knock for him, yeah. The crowd was going bananas. They wanted to see him uh, see him stay on that. I'm sure he could have finished that section off. Yeah, I think he would have. He was on good time. 
good speed. I definitely think he could have gone through to the end. Oh, look at this. So he was on. I think he should have taken just an extra second to find his balance there. He just needed one more. Yeah, it was just going. He just couldn't hold it. All right, so Samuel here into the section. Oh, very nice. Nice switch from the front to the back. How the riders do that is they kind of jump. They get all the weight on the front wheel. The back wheel will pop up and at the last minute let go of that front brake throw the weight backwards and the bike kind of pops onto the back wheel. Yeah, exactly. And you see a lot of guys, especially like Montalvo, they'll just roll the rear wheel straight through and kind of manual. Looks super smooth. And that comes from about an hour of practice, I think. Oh, Maybe only an hour. Yeah, yeah, that's all you an need. Hour. <laughs> an, an hour every two hours. <laughs> for, for like eight years, yeah. To, yeah, to, to exactly. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the big hook. This one is definitely so ooh, not getting quite on there. How did he jump off? Because the rider can jump back off and approach it again. As long as you don't cross your axles across the, the gate there. So you've got um, the two arrows on the rock. So you've got to stay within the, that gate. Yeah. So, yeah, if you between stay within the with, gate. Oh, oh, no. Front just sliding there. How's the... He's... See how his rear's just crossed the gate? Yeah. So I think they've given him given that given gate him a fight. So, yeah. so the thing was is I think his back wheel wasn't across the gate yet while he was hanging there. And then it but, slipped across. But he but he had no choice. There was no way else for him to go. So yeah. it was interesting he opted for um, the half pedal off the floor, whereas a lot of the other guys were hopping on rear and doing the static jump into hang. So yeah, different techniques for the same line. So smooth, finding that little landing off the water. There we go, right. Dominic Oswald now. And uh, Dominic Oswald into the section. Obviously this uh, rock waterfall is specifically built for the competition. It isn't always there. So uh, this was built just for the, the world champs here. Yeah, it was. And I did notice uh, at night they're turning the waterfall off and as we went to walk it, they turned it back on. So that was nice. <laughs> get your shoes wet. <laughs> so they even made you get your feet wet before the competition. Yeah, I've got... That's nice of them. <laughs> I um, have no dry shoes anymore. <laughs> okay, Dominic really is going very quickly. Look at that. <laughs> halfway, through the, uh, halfway through the section. It hasn't even hit a minute yet. So what's gonna opt for this it? is what takes all the time. This difficult. I think he might be going for the static. Is that is that a race face or a look of confusion? <laughs> Pure concentration. Opting for the static move there. Yeah. And he actually has it really nice. Oh, very nicely really nice. done. Oh no, he's just lost his balance and had to gap next to the log. Went off the wrong side. He is going to be. It's so hard because it's right on a knife edge. Hard to get your balance on that. That That's puts Eloy in first place. That is huge. Eloy currently first place. And uh, we do still have Thomas to come through. If Thomas gets a 60 on this section, he's uh, going to be in first place. If he gets a 50, he will be tied with uh, Dominique Oswald. Anything less than he's below. So the competition wide open. So much pressure on Thomas's shoulders here. I know. This, uh, this format of uh, one lap, five sections, it's so close. It's just cutthroat. You can't, you can't afford to make any mistakes, and every point counts. And as we saw this morning with Nina literally diving over the finish line, and there's, there's Thomas. Ten points so far. And uh, do you think... Um, oh, he's got to get through almost, that. Almost misses a gate. Yeah. You don't want to be doing now, that. Yeah. This is, this is big. If you can pull this off, it literally opens up the competition. All right, 
but here we go, Thomas. You can hear the crowds absolutely going crazy. The crowds here have been great. Look at all the people really standing over there. Thomas having to go for a second attempt at this one. Come As you on, can Thomas. see, it is so difficult this to just to get to the top there. And he's doing it with wet tyres, trying to find that grip. Yeah, that's not easy. He's got a nice position. He's got the front wheel well over the top. Oh, holding it. Is he going to keep his balance? He has. He has, oh. yes. So 40 20 points. seconds. He's got 20 seconds. He needs at least another gate to get... Uh, if he gets the one more gate, sorry, if we've been quiet, it's because we literally holding oh. our breath. Was that through? That was very borderline, but no, it's I'm not quite 40 sure. 50 points. And where does that... 50 so points. He's gotten 50. through. He did get through the gate. So 50 points for him there. Whew. So that puts him in second place. 10 behind Eloy Palau from Spain. 10 ahead of Dominic Oswald. And yeah, there's only 30 points between the top four. In fact, 30 points between the top five. Ian Orieto still there. Lucian Lysa down on 100. He's essentially a section behind now. Lucian, I don't know if he could come back from that. We take a lot of uh, failures from the other riders, but um, it, it really is. It is everything to play for. For the top five, anybody, anybody in the top five is, can, can take this. Oh, exactly. But, I mean, Lucian... I mean, he might be in a good position now because he can just ride free. You know, there's no pressure. He can just go for it. All right, so Lucian now has got this big side up onto the disc. You've got to be very accurate. That disc is... Um, oh, look at that. There's the animation. You can actually see the, uh, the course. And... Uh, you can see how the pipes are designed and then put in and those discs really, really thin. They're only about, about seven centimeters wide and uh, really not easy. And he's got a, a big kick onto that disc. Look how narrow it is. He's got to keep the bike on there. And now he's got this really difficult side up. He's got to go from that kind of seven centimeter wide disc. He's got to go up. I think that's 1.3 or 1.4 meters up. I'd be close too, yeah. It's Look at that. It's way higher than jump. his handlebars when he's on the back wheel. Uh -oh. oh, optic to go to the foot. I think because the pipe's so tight, you can't just go up to rear or else your uh, axles will cross the gate. So he's trying to keep it within the gates. Yeah, so that's yeah. really quite hard because you've got to swing across. Yeah, and, and you can't really line up. You can't find balance because the disc is so small. Oh, as you can see, he's got to ride full speed into that disc and try and kind of roll up the center of it and get all the way to the top there. And as you can see, as he stands on the bike, that disc is like literally as high as his head. Can he hold it? Oh, no, he doesn't. He's got to get to the exit there. As you can see, the gate's right at the end there. He's only on 20 points now. So, see his front just get caught up in yeah. the rocks there. Yeah, that yeah that you can't put any quite pressure slippery. on those on those tyres. And uh, Nina Nina had the same problem in the in the ladies race in the uh, in the section as she came around the back, front wheel washed out. Yeah, it's you've really got to pick put your line through there. there. So five points for him there. So yeah. So Lucian, 130 points. Not looking good for him. He uh, really does need to. Uh, yeah, it's going to take a lot for him to uh, be able to get onto the podium. But good riding in any case from the Swiss. All right, so currently Eloy Palau, first place. Thomas Pechacker, second. Dominique Oswald, third. Lucian Lysa currently saying fourth place, but remember he is a section ahead. He's already done the first section, so. Um, he is essentially now in sixth place. And then uh, you've got Samuel and Ion Arieto. So, yeah. But it is only 30 points between uh, the, uh, the top five riders. So, absolutely riveting here at the 
2018 UCI Urban World Games here in Chengdu. All right, so Eloy down. So this is our current leader. And uh, he's got this, uh, this move. He's kind of good at these things. I've seen some of his videos and some of what he does. Yeah, super smooth, as you can see. Oh, so he's going to have to go around and attempt that. He got through the gate, so he can go up from the back this time. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how, how he'll approach this one. So he's right foot forward, so he's going to face the other direction. And uh, just look at how huge, so high up there. How high do you think that is up to the top? Oh, I'd say close to a meter 30, easy. No, 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 but the, from the ground. Oh, from the ground. <laughs> it's it's o yeah, over two meters, easy. Yeah, well, I mean, it's two and a half odd meters up, so... Um, and that, that's really small. Your wheels don't really fit on there, so you can't have both wheels on at the same time. You get, they will kind of hang off of the edge. So 20 good. points here for Elo. As you can see, they've given, him a, yeah, they've given him a, a platform to take off from, so they're not going out of the gravel, just so they can get some traction coming through there. Oh, no! He's oh, broken the, the tape. tape. Only 20 points for him here. No, Elo was in front. Where's that going to put him now? Well, he's still in the front, but we've still got Thomas to come. So if Thomas goes 20 points or more, as you can see on the scoreboard, Thomas is on 140, Eloy 170. Yeah. Thomas needs 30 points to take the lead. Dominique needs 40 points to take the lead. A 60 in this section will uh, really help anybody to open up a good gap. Elo is going to be gutted. That was so close. Oh. <laughs> and when you, if when we, you if think it's all going to plan. As he jumped back, it just... Oh, he landed on that tape. He's, I'd say unlucky, but uh, no such thing as luck. It's just... Yeah. All right, so Lucian into the section here. And uh, he's going to want a good result to get back into it. Oh, look how smooth that is. And that's a big that side up. That targeting is awesome. So when you say side up, basically hopping up vertically sideways onto an obstacle. That was the move that they needed to do on that section. And uh, that is a big side up. Eh? You mean? <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> huge, yeah. All right, so onto the narrow discs. Oh, just losing his balance a little bit, but he saved it. Just axles through. So... His left foot forward, so he's going to have to face to the to the left. He's going to, want, going to want to kick to his right. Well, his preferred jumping side is jumping to the right. So, yeah, he's going to set himself up so he can... Oh, he's... Yes, now he's he going to go it. backwards through the gate. Because he can't cross the... Oh, he's gotten through. Yeah. Kept that kept that front nice and high. Got but it through the gate. They gave, him a, they gave him a dab. I think he's pedal clipped on the way up. Oh, must have. So... The bike is not yes, holding it. Yes, look at that. And he's, he's got good time. 30 seconds to go. He can pick up some good points here. Well, he's on 30 now. 25 seconds. Probably go. Front to yes. back there. So nice. And it is very high. Big gap across. There's the final Ten gate. Seconds. You can see those arrows. He's on 30. And he's still got to get on. out. And out of time. So, 40 for Ian. What a ride there in the section. He was fighting that so hard. Oh, man, that was just that was just amazing. Crowd's going wild here. That was a great fight to the end. Yeah, there. that was a great fight. 40 points. He's unhappy, but uh, he... He doesn't need to be. He rode so well. That was that was phenomenal. All right, so Ian 160, Eloy 170. He's only 10 behind now. He's really put himself back into it. Thomas still got to do the section. He's sitting on 140. Dominique 130. Lucian Lysa there on 130, and uh, Samuel Laverty wants one one twenty, but obviously uh, Samuel hasn't gone into the section yet so now we see Samuel sorry that is still Lucian 
on the slow motion. But uh, we can see out the commentary box, Samuel is in the section already. I'm sure we're going to cut back to him in a second. There we go. So, big side up for Samuel. Also making that really easy. Yeah, these young riders, they've got some power already. All right, so 10. He's got a one dab. He missed the first. He obviously had a little bit of a dab on the first gate. Maybe a pedal touch or something. I didn't quite yeah, see it. Yeah, pedal touches. So, yeah, as we said, hold it, hold it. Yes. All right, now he's got a big a big side of him. He's pretty light, so he's good at this type of move. He oh, he's got of, some power. Yeah, yeah, he's got a lot of power and he's light, so he can maneuver that bike into into good position. Yes, and he does it. I think he went to bash plate he there, so he didn't plate. get the 10 points. He's Still good to hold it, though. 10. He's riding so well, but he's just... He's not getting through clean, and this is you need this at this part of the competition. Oh, you need every, to be every yeah, every point counts, so he's got to collect these points. He can't afford to get out of here with just the ten. That's going to be a big blow to his final if uh, he can't get any more. He was through. He was through. He's still got to get through the front of the, the disc there. Through the front, yeah. So uh, it's going to be quite difficult. Oh, did he go through the gate or did he go over the gate? That was pretty tight. So well, it looks yeah. like he did do it, but... Um, I think he's almost out of time there. Yeah. It's a good e effort from the youngster, though. 20 points, yeah. Good effort, but... Um, not the points he needs. Not the points he needs, and yeah. You're right, Janine, it's... Uh, See the pedal just touching there, so he missed out on the points. Was that it? All right, yeah. two more riders. From a training point of view, Janine, what are, what are, how much effort and how much time do these guys spend on the bikes versus in the gym? Looking at the size of the legs these days, I'd say it's 50-50. <laughs> and yourself, do you spend a lot of time in the gym? Um, well, yeah, to get the power, it really does help. Um, I'll try and spend probably the majority of the time on the bike just to get a good feeling. But, um, yeah, if you want to get that extra height, the gym is definitely uh, the way to go. If you're looking at um, the 20-inch men and the 26-inch, they're getting some crazy power at the moment, and I think it's plenty of hours in the gym. Yeah. Squats and deadies. <laughs> Squats, yeah, they've done them all. All right, so... Uh Dominique onto the two discs and uh, he's got a big side up on him so look at the focus on his face 20 points he's going to want 60 yeah so he's not going to opt for a pedal or place things safe he knows he's yes going to holding it. It. He does it look at that collecting the 10 points there so 30 for him he is putting on a good battle if he can get 60 points here he's straight back into it Oh, very oh, nice. Yes. No fighting, no battling, and uh, 40 so smooth points on that so rim break. <laughs> so smooth. Here we go. Now it's this big hook. That's one thing I love about Dominic. He's such a fighter. Oh, that's such a shame. 40 points is good for this section, though. 40 points is very, very, very good. And. Um, Yep, so 40 points for him. So Eloy Palau, first place, 170. Dominique, also 170. We've got Eon, 160. Thomas Pehaka, 140, but he's still got the section to ride. Samuel Hilavati, 140. And uh, Lucian Lysa, 130. So Thomas has now pulled an entire section lead on uh, Samuel Hilavati and uh, Lucian Lysa. And, uh, yep, it looks like it's turning out to be a competition between, uh, yeah, it's between Eloy, Dominic, Eon, and Thomas Pechaka. All right, 10 points for him. I think Thomas will make light work of this big side up because we know he, I think he goes off the highest in the industry. He's I think he had to pull up on that side hop there. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Pull back on the power there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't even look like he put in any effort. I think it was like just a. Did he even a bend his knees? A speed bump. Right? 
Oh, it was only like a meter and a half. I think it was all from the ankles. Yeah. <laughs> all right. But now he's got to control all that power and keep it on those narrow discs. All right. 20 points, so uh, got to keep it controlled. Come on. Come on, Thomas. He's got to get his line up on that small disc. Oh, yeah. hell of it. He's Look collecting the 10 points there. 30 points, so I think that's, that's putting him... Scoreboard's not updating, but uh, Thomas, I think he's in the lead now. Holding it. Oh, he's got to come back up and get through that last gate on the... Back up, but if he can get through here, he's also on 40, equaling uh, Dominic's score, but he's going to want to go a bit better. He, he's going to want to try and get 50 oh, from the section. Nicely there. done. Definitely through the gates there. Now we've got a big hook. Can you explain the hook to us? Because this is... Actually, I don't think he's oh, going for the hook. He's not going for the hook. He's going for this massive gap. This is a different line. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Trying to jump around the tape. He just fell off something that's like two and a half meters high and he's walking away. Do you think he's... I think he might be made out of steel. <laughs> he's not real. <laughs> All right, so Thomas now, only 10 points ahead of Eloy Palau and Dominic Oswald. Ion Arieto is just 20 behind. So yeah, 20 points uh, dividing the top four. We've got Samuel Hlavati at 140. He's 40 points behind and 50 is for Lucian Leiser. So essentially anybody could still win it. <laughs> Highly unlikely for Samuel and Lucian, but uh, anything, anything can happen in the UCI pickup sticks. This is going to be big. Oh, this is a super tight race. I'm excited. <laughs> We've got a great view from up here too, so. Oh yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? And just look at the crowd. So many people in the audience loving it. They are supporting uh, like crazy. There's the pickup sticks. What do you think of this section? I think visually it's a beautiful section. Um, it's, uh, it's got some really big moves in it. And they've got a kicker line, which is uh, very interesting. Kicker line into a tight section. So we'll see how they um, execute this one. Yeah, well, we're at the kicker right now, and um, this has caught so many people out because you kind of got to jump into that, like, into the stairs. Yeah, but the thing is, is depending on what pedal you are forward, your pedal might be in the way and touch, and it can throw your balance. See how he's... See yeah. how tight that is? You can barely fit the bike in through there. Yeah, and you got to get through. So you can either go right to the top, then it doesn't matter, but that's just <laughs> exactly. ginormous. Just jump high. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nicely done there. Oh. So, four points for him. 20, 20 on the board. Five points. Oh, they fived him. I, I think, think he might have crossed a the gate there. If he was actually really quite tight. Uh, that's, the, that's Lucian Lice's uh, world championship run. Done and dusted. What a ride for him there. So yeah, he got 20 points in the, in the in the last gate. That's not enough to take him into first place. But uh, yeah, he is now ahead of Samuel Haverty. Samuel will need uh, 20 points to uh, to get ahead of him. But it is it really is open for everybody right here. So let's see what Eloy can do here. This is this is super important because. Eloy has to get a good score here, otherwise he's out of it. And uh, this could be, he could be world champion. That would be a huge upset because nobody had him down as a, as a world champ. No, Not he's yet. I mean, yeah, he's up and coming, but... Yeah, if he gets this, he would have come in as a sleeper. So a lot yeah. of people have been putting their uh, their money on Thomas or uh, Domi. Oh, but but Eloy's put in a huge fight. Nicely done, controlled, and now this uh, big kicker you're talking about. How hard is it to get traction on that when you try and pedal in for something? Oh, he's coming out of the rocks there. As you can see, his wheels are spinning. See how he's 
his right pedal, so his pedal's right in the in the way there. Just that blue box, just too tight for him to get through. So he's going to miss out on those 10 points. And now he's got this um, really difficult jump, as you can see, using a hook technique. Yeah, I saw, um, I saw some guys getting up to rear, and it's oh, really yeah, quite that, that tight. That was beautifully seconds. executed. Yeah, very nicely done. And that actually didn't even look like a... It didn't look that hard. Well, it's it's hard, but it, it didn't look as, as difficult as what I thought because... Oh, oh yes! Straight to hang. Straight to... No. no. Now he's got a side up up here. And this is big look. He's Basically, as high as his shoulder, and he's got to attempt that again. He's got three seconds left. I think he might be out of time here. Oh. But that is that is ginormous. That's I think he might have extended his wheelbase on that hang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just flexing those forks on that hang. Yeah. If the frame held out for that, it's a it's a good frame. <laughs> I think he's sponsored. He'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> Great effort by Eloy though. That was a really what strong a ride. ride. So what was his score there? Just waiting. So 20 points in section five that puts him on 190, and uh, that would mean Thomas needs just 10 points to overtake him there. Dominique needs 20 points to overtake him, or 20 or 30 points, just depending on the uh, 50s and 30s. So how the scores work if the riders end on a tie? Uh, the rider with the most cleaner runs or uh, most maximum points. So if the rider has the most 60-point sections, he would win. Then it would go to 50-point sections and uh, as, it, as it goes down. So here we go. Eloy, solid into the section already. 20 Eon. points so far. Oh, sorry. Eloy. Eon, Arieto. They all got the I same the shirts Spanish on flag him. and I'm just <laughs> getting caught up in it all. The Spanish have such a strong 20-inch uh, field. Oh, nice. See how uh, Eon's made it through there. He's left pedal, though, so he's got that clearance. One minute. He's making good time as well. He's still got a minute remaining. How do you think he's going to attempt this? Do you think a big side up? Or? <sighs> I think so, by the looks of that. Oh, wow. No way. That is fantastic. What a save. He's got this... Uh, Big side up to uh, come back, and now he's got this massive gap. Psyching himself up. 40 points here would be incredible because I do think that this is one of the hardest parts of Quite the possible. competition. I think he might be going from the green. See how he's actually got more height so he can get the gap? Yes, he's held it to rear. What? That is insane. He's putting in a huge effort at the end here. I think that's like three meters that that distance. Oh, it's huge. So, 40 points. Can he get another one? Can he get through on 50? He's only got about five seconds remaining. Come 50 on. points. What a last ride by Eon. That was a stellar effort. Yeah, 50 points. Very nice. What a ride. That puts him in... Uh, Oh, he's in the lead. 10. That is bringing the competition back. So, Thomas has to get 30. Possible. Yeah, Thomas has to get 30. He has overtaken Eloy. Dominique needs 40 points. That's an ask. This is a difficult section. I know Dominique can do it, but... Oh man, he rode out of his out of his skin in that section. That was that, that was, was an amazing ride. <laughs> my hands were sweating. I'm like, Whew, that was just too cool. <laughs> I like my heart rate down after watching that. <laughs> All right, so Lavati into the section now. So the best. Samuel gets 60 points here. He'll actually be tied with Ian. Yeah, because he's on, uh, he was on 150. 
Oh, oh. see? Oh, no. See Samuel's oh, right pedal, and that pedal just touched that just blue boxer. And, yeah, he's off balance. That's a really hard line, that one. Feel sorry for him. Great ride for Samuel. And uh, he's super upset, but he's got no... <laughs> He doesn't need to be. He's uh, here in the finals of the World Championships, one of the toughest fields you can imagine. Oh, great effort by the youngster to make a, a World Championship final. That's amazing. Yeah. And I think he's only 18, isn't he? Is this his first year? Yeah, yeah, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, I think he was junior last year. Not 100% sure. Oh, as you can see that there. That pedal just, just getting caught up. Look at that fall. Saving it. Not eating dirt well. Good on him. Okay, Dominic Oswald into the section. And uh, Dominic really needs to uh, do something special here. Okay, so on 10 so far. Oh, but he is moving fast. He is moving well. He is also right foot forward. Yeah, he's really so going to watch his pedal coming up here. This is not good for him. This section is slightly more difficult for Dominic. And uh, he's obviously got a... Re he's really going to have to put some big power down here. He needs these 40 points. <gasps> he almost went up to the top of the blue. <laughs> he's hung on to it, though, so... Yeah. He won't get the points for this, this gate, but... Let's see if he can get the rest. Yeah, he needs he needs another ten points and um, I don't think the scoreboard's updated. No, he needs another twenty points. All right, so he's done the hook. He needs the side up, then the gap. Yeah, he does need forty. Ooh, and this is costing him. He's still got time. Still got some time though. So Dominic won the last World Cup of the season in Germany. And uh, coming off that motivation, second qualifier yesterday. But he has got a huge gap on him. Come on, Dominic. Let's get him across here. Yes, holding it to back wheel. He's got two seconds left. That's 20. Come on, Domi. I think he's collected that 10 points there. So Yes, he has. So that puts him on 30. What does the scoreboard say? Has it, it hasn't updated. I think that's put, it, put him into second place at the moment. Is that second? Yeah, I think it is second. He doesn't look happy with that. Yeah, only uh, 190. Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it has updated. So okay. Dominique on 190. All right, so Thomas has got so much pressure here. Are we going to see a Spanish gold medal, or is it going to go to the Austrian? I don't know. Thomas is super hungry. He just hasn't got that win. This like he, hasn't he was always there win. this he's season. Always, he's right there. He's always. I hate to say it, but he's like this year. He's he's been the second best rider at every event. I know. To all different riders. So yeah. He's the most consistent, but he doesn't have the wins. If he gets the win here, I think there's going to be a big party tonight. Oh yeah. Okay, so Dominic, that's updated. Dominic, 10 points behind Ion Arieto. And uh, Thomas needs 40 points. No, sorry, 30 points to take the win here. Currently, Currently on 10. He's got his 20 points. 20 points, so. He is right pedal, though. So he is let's right see. pedal, and this is not good for him. I wonder how he's going to do this. Maybe he's going to try to go to front or something. Something different. I think he's just going to try and keep his pedal out of the way. He is good at, he is good at kickers. So. Oh, he's awesome at kickers. Oh, my. He's just held that out of there. Very nice. I don't think he's collected the points because his pedal's touched, but yeah, he's just he got to get 10 get more. He's going to go. He said in training that he wants to go to... Back Straight wheel, and he's done it. Oh, and he's held it. That no is super ways. technical jumping backwards. 
going to go for the gap. Come on, Thomas. Come on. Now he's got to get through that last gate there. He's got 22 seconds to get through here. Come on, Thomas. 40 points. Let's watch it. He is the He's done it. world champion. He's done it. 50 points. That Thomas Pethocker is the nice. 2018 Urban Cycling World Trials World Champion. What a ride there for the Austrian. That was I a, am so happy for him. Oh, he, he's just been second, second, and then so, he finally got it. And he got it where it counts most at oh. the World Championships. What a ride. That was an awesome ride by Thomas. He's just going to be over the moon with that. <laughs> when his pedal clipped there, I was like... I oh, know, I just thought, just stay on it. <laughs> like, like that, that was, but this was, this was unbelievable. How that, you hold that one? Oh, going backwards and up and over. Oh, giving it everything. Can you imagine how his arms were burning at that point? Oh, he wanted that win so bad and he made it happen. That was an awesome ride to watch. That was insane. Well, that's it for our 20-inch men's. What a ride it's been and uh, what a race. That was so tight. Coming down to uh, the last point in the, like literally in the last section, fighting. Oh, this was an awesome race to watch. I mean, I can sit down now. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I want to sit down, but I'm already sitting yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, that was just, that was, that was I shouldn't have such a high, high heart rate watching this. Yeah, it is. So, in the end, Thomas Pachaka won 2.30. Ion Arieto, second place. He's going to be happy with that. Look, upset he didn't get the win, but happy with that. Oh, then podium position at World Championships. You've got to be Dominic happy with Oswald, that. Dominic Oswald, 200 points. Just 30 between them. Then Eloy Palau, 190. He was in the lead. He lost it by a bit in the end. He had a terrible last section. The, the UCI section really was not good for him. But, uh, yeah, it was really good then. Samuel Halavati at 160 and Lucian Lysa at 150. What a ride here by everybody. It really was something special. We're going to go over to the prize giving. We'll be in just one second. So uh, let's just. All right. So um, yeah, as an overview on the race, what do you have to say? <laughs> uh, as a spectator, that was awesome to watch. I mean, I'm a 20-inch rider, so I've got a bit of bit of a bias uh, towards a 20-inch. So I I really enjoyed it. But uh, yeah, it was just amazing watching Thomas. Well done, Thomas. What an incredible final. That was so close up to the end. Yeah, like my, my start wasn't too good. Uh, so, but I, I really like it to be the hunter, not not to be the hunted. So, uh, actually, the start now, uh, as I look back, it's, it was quite good. So, and I, I I fight till the end, and yeah, I'm so happy. You were very consistent between all the sections. What was the key for for that for that victory? Yeah, I think the, the pure will to, to do it and uh, yeah, I don't know, it was, in the end it's just a, like a mental game and I, I managed to just focus on my own riding, not to have too many uh, scores and numbers in my head. So I enjoyed riding, enjoyed the crowd here and focused on my own riding and I guess that, that was the key for today. Uh, you're also very powerful, very explosive. Is there, are there any sections here in this, uh, in this course, in this track that you, prefer, you, that you like mostly? Yeah, yeah, like, uh, especially like, uh, of course I'm, I'm, I'm really powerful, the, so that's why powerful movements are really good for me and uh, yeah, I really like them because you can like get all in, uh, yeah. <laughs> Last question, I mean, you, you're going to wear the rainbow jersey in a in a few, uh, in a, a bit more time, uh, what's the feeling? Can you anticipate wearing that jersey? No, no, not at all. Like, still re unreal now, and uh, yeah, I'm a bit speechless now. So, 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so uh, that was Thomas Pechocker telling us about his event. What a ride. What an event. Thank you so much, Janine. Well done on your third place. It was great being in the, in, the, in the commentary box with you, and thanks to everybody for what an amazing course and, and event. And uh, we'll be back in just a little while with the uh, men's 26-inch final here at the uh, 2018 UCI Urban Cycling World Champs. Janine, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks very much for having me. I really enjoyed it, and uh, it was an amazing race to watch and commentate. Well, thank you so much. You were much, much better than I could have been, so congrats on that and for joining me. Awesome. We'll see you later.